Oh, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Pluto here coming out with another nigga touch on my Element 3D shadows. Um, I got two different ways of showing you the shadows. The first way I'm gonna show you is for the text that's on the ground. As you see on the screen right here, it's looking pretty sexy. So let's get started. So after you made that nigga comp and you got everything in the your motion track ready to go, you want to go up into scene setup. Go over to primitives and then find plane. And you'll make sure the plane is in the second group. So click on number two and click number one to make it go away. Because you don't want them in the same group because it's going to be weird. Alright. So you want to go down to group two. And you want to copy all the coordinates for the position X, Y, and Z from the first group to the second group. I already done that. Alright. So once you do that, make sure the text. Make sure the plane is like cutting out parts of the bottom of the text so you can see the most of the shadows will be, it'll make it look like the text is in the ground. All right, so now once you've done that, you go down to render settings, click on ambient occlusion, occlusion, enable it, change intensity, and drag it all the way up, and the uh, radius all the way up also, and the gamma, drag it all the way up. All right, so now you begin to see some of the text. I mean, some of the shadows. All right, so now you want to get rid of the plane. So you go back to scene setup, click on the plane material, scroll all the way down, go to advanced, and then you click on matte shadow. <gasps> Excuse me. Then you press OK. So now you get to see a little bit of this sexy text shadows right here, man. Um, this is looking pretty damn good, you know what I'm saying, to me. Alright, so that's the first way of the shadows. Now the second way is you want to duplicate the element 3D layer, click on the bottom one, and then type in Gaussian Blur in the Effects and Precepts tab and type in Fill, and then drag those two things on. Alright, so now you want to change the color of the fill to black, then press OK. Then go back to Gaussian Blur, change the blurriness, drag it up to whatever your likeness is. I used to do mine around 18, 19, you know, somewhere around there. And now you can see it looking even more sexy with the shadow on it. So I use both these shadows on my text most of the times. Um, yeah, but basically the ones for, uh, for the second way I showed you is mainly for text that's in the air or whatnot. And the uh, first way is for mostly for text that's in the ground. Well, in the ground, you can use both ways. So, you know, but yeah. You guys, if this helps you out, please leave a like and comment below. You know what I'm saying? I read all my comments and everything. You guys, I love you. Thanks for 3.8K. Let's get to 5K. But yeah, you guys, peace.